welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today, you guys, I can't even contain my excitement. I, I don't know where to begin. I don't know what to say, um, except I am so grateful to JCPenney for this amazing opportunity. What we're gonna share with you guys today is the first time it's ever been done with JCPenney, and so I'm so excited to be partnering up for this concept. So today we're launching the local look, and the local look is going to be this amazing, amazing concept um, that JCPenney um, has come up with, where they're gonna pick out an influencer locally and have this influencer help you shop the store. Now, I don't know if you guys have experienced this before, but when you walk into JCPenney, there are so many options, you don't know where to begin. It's kind of like me walking into a candy store. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but one of my vices in this entire world is sugar. And so you can't let me loose in a candy aisle, let alone a candy store. So when I walk into JCPenney, I often find myself being a little squirrely um, and I don't know where to start. Um, there's so many things that I want. There's so many things that I end up trying on and don't even get me started on Sephora inside JCPenney. So what we decided was to create the local look and basically the local look is this concept of locally curated, universally loved. So, you guys, if I explain this to you in any other way, it just, it won't do it justice. I went to a JCPenney store before they launched all of their new arrivals and let me design a bunch of different outfits for you guys. Now, it was a little tricky for me because I kept feeling torn between what's in fashion what I love and what I'm supposed to wear. And I think that fashion is one of those subjects that really pigeonholes us. Whether it's our own self-confidence, whether it's us trying to follow what's trendy, whether it's uh, what we grew up being told we were supposed to and not supposed to wear. And I feel like fashion is your voice before you're able to speak. You lead with what you're wearing. How do you represent yourself? So in my 34, almost, almost 35 years of age, I've gone through so many life changes. I've become a mom, I was a wife, a divorcee, now I'm engaged again, and I've fallen in love with myself through every phase in life, including fashion. And I think my ultimate goal, my ultimate theme when it comes to how I dress myself is how do I feel good about myself? What makes me feel confident? What makes me feel pretty? And guess what? It's not what's on trend. It's not the crop top. It's not the low rise jeans. It's quality, comfort, multi-purpose, and confidence, you guys. So in my closet, you are going to find items that have more than one job. Guess what? If you have one purpose, you can't live here. <laughs> When it comes to fashion, if you are not machine washable, high quality, um, you know, wash and dry, multi-purpose, and you don't make me feel good about myself, I'm sorry, but you can't live at Coffee Break with Danny headquarters. You know what I'm saying? So in my almost 35 years of life, I have gotten to the point where if something doesn't make me feel pretty, if something doesn't make me feel good about myself, if I'm not putting more use into something than what I invested, it's not something I want around. So when JCPenney approached me with this concept, I said, are you sure? <laughs> me? Because I am going to keep it 200% with you guys, you know, and I'm not going to show you guys um, probably what you're going to see on um, trending Instagram accounts. I'm going to show you guys what I feel is very um, useful and high quality and inspires me and I can wear with more than one pair of pants. You know what I mean? So today I'm going to show you guys my local look for fall. We are doing the September collection and I want you guys to remember that when I show you these items, they don't have one use. They can be combined with a multitude of items that are already in your closet or that you can already haul with this collection. So if I show you something, I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, a leopard pair of pants and you just wear them with just the one black t-shirt. 
No, guys, I got your back. And when I was designing this collection, I thought to myself, I'm doing it for me because I am you. So I'm doing it for us. I'm doing it for all the pandas. I'm doing it for my demographic. I'm doing it for those of us that tune in to Coffee Break with Danny and you feel like we're sitting together having a cup of coffee and we can just relate to each other, whether it's being at home with the kids, whether it's being a mom, whether it's being divorced, whether it's being a woman that has just gotten to that point in her life where she's like, this is me, take it or leave it because I love myself. And so I want you guys to be able to see yourself in these pieces. And what I did is I styled them for you in one way, but I want you to keep an open mind because all the items in this collection can be styled, mix and match with other items in this collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys my favorites. I'm not going to go through every single piece because there's like 60,000 pieces here. <laughs> But what I will do is I will leave a link in the description box below. This is Coffee Break with Danny's local look. It's going to be a landing page where all of these items are linked for you. So all you have to do is add it to your cart and then we can be twinning. Now, the best part about this opportunity is that if you guys are local, hence the local look, um, you get the opportunity to come shop with me um, here in Dallas at Stonebriar Mall. So there is a JCPenney inside Stonebriar Mall that is in Frisco, a city within Dallas. And um, I get to hang out with you, I get to meet you, and we get to shop these items together. So if you guys have nothing to do on September 14th, I will be there for a few hours all of the details for that meetup will be in the description box below, along with the link to all of these products. But I have talked your ear off enough. I just want to remind you guys that fashion is what you make of it, what you feel comfortable in, what makes you feel pretty, what makes you feel like you can take on the world. And for me, it's a white t-shirt. <laughs> I know that's as basic as it gets, but guess what? A white tee loves you all the time. No matter if you feel pretty, if you feel ugly, if you feel bloated, if you're having a happy day, if you're having a bad day, if you put a blazer over it, if you wear it with skinny jeans, with a denim skirt, a white t-shirt is a canvas and you could basically do whatever you want with it. So this v-neck t-shirt from a and a is probably my number one favorite item in the entire local look collection that I picked out for you guys. And you can tell right now I'm wearing it with huge statement earrings. These are one of my wild picks when it came down to this collection because I know earrings like this aren't something that everyone is going to wear. But if you are, I want to make sure they're pretty. I want to make sure that they'll match a bunch of different things. And I also want to make sure that they're comfortable. You guys, how many statement earrings make you feel like you're carrying around dumbbells, right? Like, holy mackerel, they are like 55 pounds. But these are a really lightweight acetate. I have worn them for 12 hours when my best friend was here visiting and no regrets, you guys. So when it comes down to fashion, you guys, make sure your items are high quality and have more than one use because if they don't, they're just gonna take up room in your closet. That's money that you wasted and it's something that's just not doing you any purpose, you guys. I've gone to the point in my life where if something doesn't give me purpose, if something doesn't bring purpose to my life, I don't have time or space for it. So white t-shirt, you have purpose. <laughs> Another item that I really wanna talk about is palazzo pants. So palazzo pants are wide leg pants. They are usually cropped, not necessarily always, but they have the really wide leg. I have two in this collection that I picked out for you guys. A really, really creamy white, um, almost like linen shade, and then a denim. And for me, palazzo pants make me feel you guys are gonna laugh at me. We're all friends here, we're all hanging out, we're girlfriends. They make me feel like a supermodel because I feel like they make my legs look even longer. So these are cropped, you can wear them with booties, you could wear them with stilettos, you could wear them with wedges. Palazzo pants are like denim, but like denim's fun older sister, you know? So it's gonna go with everything, but it has that cool trendy edge to it. So they do come and go in fashion, but like I told you guys, I'll do what I want when it comes to fashion and I wear things that make me feel good about myself. So palazzo pants you're gonna see um, a few times in this collection. Then I wanna show you guys um, black denim. Black denim is 
a little tricky because I feel like if you're not really into that like rock star look or or looking edgy they might feel a little intimidating because they're not black slacks it's black denim and the ones that I picked out from Levi's you guys they have really super cool distressing to them so for me these are what make me feel edgy what make me feel hip but are also comfortable and suck it in because they are high rise <laughs> Well, they're more like mid to high rise. They're not necessarily super high rise because I know those could be a little uncomfortable, but they make me feel cool. So um, in this collection as well, I did haul a few handbags. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about JCPenney, but they're kind of killing it in the accessories department. I was a 90s kid, and as much as I do love remembering 90s fashion, there's not a lot about it that I want to bring back, except, don't laugh, you guys. I'm waiting. Do you have your composure? The mini backpack. <laughs> so hear me out. The mini backpack for me is nostalgic of the 90s, but for me it's also important because I have two young kids and I can't be toting around the small little bag. The small little bag divorced me almost eight years ago when I had my first son. I need to carry around uh, Matchbox cars and Ninja Turtles. I also need to carry around extra snacks and baby wipes. Um, sometimes it would be nice to have my own sunglasses in my purse and so I need something that is reliable and I know it sounds a little dated a mini backpack but not only is it a really beautiful elegant print um, it's in a durable wipeable material it's big enough to carry your stuff and maybe your loved ones things um, but it's also cool right now and if that's important to you hey you know what whatever's important to you is important to you so for me it's something that I can keep in my closet forever um, and feel good about it when I take it out. For you, it might be, I wanna be cool right now with what's trending. So hey, guess what? Animal print everything. You guys, having the opportunity to work with JCPenney was such a humbling experience because they are a brand that not only represents everyone and makes everyone feel cool and pretty and beautiful with all of the sizes that they carry in store, but they are also a brand that accepts you for what you like and so when I kept throwing animal print at them with my picks they were like awesome cool great we love it I want that you know they were very supportive of my vision and I think it's important to understand the companies and the brands that you decide to partner with because you want to have the same um you want to have the same belief system that they do. You know, you want them to like you. You want them to believe in you and support your vision. And if it's a supportive brand, you guys, when I walk in to a JCPenney, their size range is so extensive that it's one of those stores that makes me feel good to tell all my friends about because we can all wear the ANA, you know, cobalt blue shorts. We can all wear the Liz Claiborne riding boots because they come in wide calf as well, you know? So it's an all-inclusive, all-loving company that when they asked me to do the local look, I was like, can I do it yesterday? <laughs> So in this collection, you are going to see a lot of a a a lot of Levi's. You're going to see a lot of Worthington and Liz Claiborne. You're going to see a lot of JCPenney's popular brands because they are brands that really inspired this entire collection. And so I could sit here and show you all the pieces or I can actually show you how I styled them. Please keep an open mind because this is one, one way of styling them. There's a plethora, a million other ways that you could style them, mix and match, change the colors up y'all this t-shirt comes in like 15 different colors okay <laughs> keep an open mind anyway I want to show you guys how I styled the pieces and then at the very end of this video we have to talk about Sephora let's be real because Sephora has a big piece of my heart and it's also a big part of JCPenney. So you're gonna see some comfy pajamas, you're going to see outfits that you could wear to work, you're gonna see fun date night outfits, but guess what? 
They're all multi-purpose. And if you don't want to wear it on date night, you could wear it on girls night. And if you throw a blazer over it or a denim jacket, you can dress it down and you can go to an office job or you could, I don't know, meet that bumble date that you know, you've been slipping away at. Anyway, this entire collection is super inspiring because I don't just see myself wearing it. I see all of you guys being able to wear these pieces, rock these pieces and just feel like the best version of yourself. So if you guys will allow me, I'm excited to show you guys the local look that is locally curated by me, but universally loved by you. insane right I feel like it's such a cool concept to be able to see what you can find at your local JCPenney store rather than walking into the store and being like oh, where's my inspiration like what am I looking for what do I want but then if you see something like that like a lookbook created you guys I was at the store for more than three hours because I couldn't narrow it down. I was so squirrely, I wanted all the shoes. I can't stress this enough. I know I've said it 75 times, but you guys, if one item, whether it's a shoe, an earring, an accessory, a shirt, a pant has one purpose where you can just wear it in one combination with one item, it doesn't need to be in your life. You need something that's gonna give you multi-purpose. You guys, I found the best gold hoops for you guys. I've worn them nonstop for the last two months. So if you were on that boat where you just couldn't find the perfect gold hoop, you're welcome. It'll also be listed in the local look landing page that I'm leaving for you guys in the description box below. But again, you guys, be kind to yourself, have great. It's okay to say, hey, my uniform is skinny jeans and a t-shirt. It's totally fine. If that's how you feel your best, if that's how you feel beautiful, that's awesome because guess what? That shirt loves you back just as much as you like it. And I hope that you guys can find that connection with these pieces that I picked out for you guys. I mean, you've seen them nonstop in my weekend vlog. Do you guys remember those jeans with the split in the front? Maybe wearing them right now. <laughs> probably one of my favorite things in this entire collection. But I think one important piece that we may be forgetting is that a big part of JCPenney is the Sephora inside JCPenney. And so what I did was they let me loose. Y'all, they turned me loose into a Sephora and they were like, what are your picks? Now I've never been shy to pontificate my love of certain brands that Sephora carries. I've never been shy about it. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of these brands have me on their, um, on their like high alert list where they're like, is she picking in the window again? I have never been shy to share my favorites with you guys. And so if I'm gonna show you my picks, like my favorite ultimate amazing favorite picks for fall when it comes to fashion, I also wanna pick my favorites when it comes to beauty and how they are relevant 
in the fall. If you ever need someone to come up with a connection, like a connection or a justification on how something can tie in and allow you to, to, to just to, to justify it in your life, I'm your girl. So JCPenney wanted me to pick my favorite fall picks, so I did just that. And you're gonna see why these are my favorites. So the first one right here on top is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. So as you get older, your skin changes. And along with that, my skin is really just betraying my love. I used to be just normal, just full on normal. And as I've gotten older, I get extremely oily in the middle and then really dry on the sides and my neck. It's great. <laughs> And so as the seasons change, it's when I notice it the most. And I need insane hydration that won't pill under my makeup. Y'all, if you are gonna pill on my face, I don't need you in my life, you know? So the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer from Drunk Elephant is your go-to if your skin changes a little bit once the cooler months arrive. <laughs> Speaking of your skin, um, Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom Cream. I want my skin to sparkle all year round, okay? I use this in the spring and summer because I wear shorts and dresses and I want the unicorn glow from the mica that comes in this amazing caramel pistachio vanilla smelling goodness. But when the fall and winter arrive, my crocodile skin is like, hello, nice to meet you. Did you miss me? And I'm like, okay, I could use your insane hydration now. The sparkle is just a bonus, but I really just want to hide my crocodile skin. Um, oh, guess what? My crocodile skin doesn't just come on my body. It's also on my lips. So my lips dry out really crazy. Um, and I'm a picker. Are you guys a picker? I know we're all friends here. We can talk about it. I'm a picker and I pick out my lips and the only thing that keeps me from doing that because it doesn't allow my chap lips to arrive is the Brazilian Kiss from Sol de Janeiro. This is my favorite lip balm and it smells like the Boom Boom Cream. So if you guys ever see me just randomly at the mall or maybe at this uh, meetup on September 14th and you run up and just get a good waft, that's me that smells that good. <laughs> You're, you'll also be exposed to my humility. My hair also gets dry. <laughs> I am really not painting a positive picture on how I look in the fall and winter. So the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. You guys, this is like my daily conditioner. It's not necessarily a hair mask. I have been a fan of this product for well over six years now, and you can find it inside the uh, Sephora inside a JCPenney store. Now, Briogeo isn't carried at all Sephora stores, but mine has it. So September 14th, you guys, come stuck up on this and then get a good waft of my Sol de Janeiro life. <laughs> And the last two items, you're probably wondering what's on my lips right now. I'm actually wearing the Vice Lipstick from Urban Decay in Hitchhike. It is my number one favorite lip color for fall and winter. If you go back to my weekend vlogs um, from last year, it was the only color that was all over my lips every, every video. It's just the most beautiful toasted terracotta almond red, orange, terracotta, I already said that, lip color, and it's comfortable. It is ultra matte, but ultra pigmented. And if you have ultra raisin lips, it's also forgiving. So I have tons of texture on my lips, <laughs> on my body as well, tons of texture on my lips, and it is one of the few matte lip colors that allows me to play with the trend. And the other product that flew out of my hands is my favorite lip gloss. I call this my purse gloss. This is Fenty Beauty's Fenty Glow. Um, my favorite lip gloss for inside my purse. It's my favorite gloss for on top of every lip liner, every lipstick, for bare lips. It smells delicious. It is not sticky. It feels almost like a gel. You could see right now, I have a gold tone nudish lip gloss on top of a terracotta shade and it pairs really well. I love, <laughs> just like I tell you that my clothing doesn't have one job, um, neither does my makeup. So if you're going to be a lip color that I could only wear a specific time with a specific lip liner, it's not something that I'm going to reach for. Now if you're something like this gloss that I could wear bare lipped or on top of red lipstick or on top of nude lip liner, it's something you're going to find in my collection. So in summary, 
that is my local look, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. So look out for JCPenney's local looks. They will be curated by other influencers. I'm so excited to see who they work with next, you guys, because you know I'm gonna bring home some of those pieces. Now, if you guys are local to the DFW, Stonebriar Mall in Frisco, I welcome you guys with open arms. I really hope you guys will make it out. September 14th from one to four at JCPenney inside the mall. I will be there, we'll be drinking coffee together, we'll be shopping together, um, and I know there's going to be a lot of other special treats there for you guys that come out, support us, and show us some love. So all of these items, all of the shoes, all of the pieces, you guys, I didn't show you every single item. Make sure you click that link in the description box below. That local look landing page is going to show you the world of items that I got to play with at my local JCPenney store. And most importantly, if you just so happen to fall in love with any of these items that I picked out for you guys, I really hope that you feel beautiful and confident in it. And I really hope that you can imagine all of the ways that you could really get use out of that piece that you decided to bring home with you. So I appreciate you guys so much. I wouldn't have these amazing opportunities if it wasn't for you. And I really look forward to seeing you guys in my local look picked out for you. So don't forget to tag me and JCPenney if you're able to haul any of these items tag us in your selfies I really want to see how beautiful you guys look in these items especially if you're able to adopt these amazing statement pieces you guys earrings are hard to find comfortable big medallions like these are very hard to find I can't wait to see you guys twinning with me whether it's in your gold hoops your basic white tee your animal print everything or your palazzo pants so no matter what trend you guys decide to rock i'm sure you guys are going to look beautiful i'm sure you guys are going to feel your best i love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys